Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Becky Belote. I am a Creative Memories Advisor from Newport News, Virginia. And I'd like to start off by um, sharing um, that this Saturday I had a class scheduled and it canceled. So now I feel like I need to do another class. <laughs> and um, I want to share um, a little bit about digital scrapbooking with you guys. So if there's anybody out there that doesn't have an advisor um, that would like to learn, you know, take a beginner's class on uh, making a scrapbook with creative memories digitally. Um, we used to have a program that we used to sell that was, you know, like 60 bucks and then you had to buy all the content, but we don't have that anymore. We have a free online platform with zillions of content like everything that we have um traditionally we have also digitally and so there's lots of options but yet they're real it's really easy to use really user friendly so if that sounds like something you would like to do would you send me an email and let me know um, i'm going to do it at 11 eastern time and i would love to have you it's a free class um, and then I will feel really good that I'm not slacking on Saturday. Um, so anyways, um, just email me. It's um, Becky, B-E-C-K-I-E, at scrapbookwithbecky.com. Yeah, just let me know if you want to take that class. And at the end, if you're interested, I'll, I'll show you um, a book that I made so that you can get an idea of why you want to do ours, because I think we have the best platform out there and it's like the secret that not a lot of people know so you'd be in on the secret <laughs> all right so also before I get started today I have to show you one of my advisors on my team gave me this cute little purse with a little boxy on it is that the cutest thing you've ever seen and I have been dropping my phone like three times a day and it's like all beat up and I'm like I'm gonna store my phone in this pocketbook so it doesn't <laughs> um fall as much because I have, I guess, greasy fingers or something. Um, but anyways, um, I had to share you share that with you. So let's go ahead, get, ahead and get started. I'm going to be using our border maker today um, to maybe give you some ideas about what more you can do with that tool. So I am going to change my screen. All right, so here we go. Um, first of all, um, a lot of times people think of using borders from the border maker, but forget that you can do layered borders to get a whole different look. So I wanted to show you this page. This I made with the new Serenity line. All right. And I don't know if you realize this, but right now the company has a promotion that if you spend only $20 on our website, you will save 10 so that is big. So um, I wanted to remind you of that before I forget. Sometimes I forget at the end. And that is a really nice promotion. But um, this shows, this is the new brocade border maker cartridge. So that is used with your border maker system. And um, I did two of them. I did one in light blue. And then I did one in white. And I flipped them so that they are opposite of one another. And the white one I popped with foam squares to give that some dimension, like the froth on the ocean popping up. And then I put the boats from the border maker. This is another, this is called rolling sails. So we've got brocade, we've got rolling sails here in the background. Is that just beautiful? Uh, some other cartridges that I'm using, I'm using the ancient vine here. Um, I just centered my punch. Um, and used it as a punch instead of as a border and just punched it right there to give this ancient key look right there for my little embellishment. And this is a free punch, not free, but it's a punch that works independently um, called um, Tile Square. I don't think I showed this page to you last year, but isn't that pretty, those little embellishments here and here? All right, but the whole point is think layering with your borders and wow, it's amazing. But what I want to focus on more today is on mixing your border maker cartridges to always be in the on the lookout 
for um, border maker cartridges that will look nice together. Um, I do this all the time where I just grab a scrap and I grab some punches to see what looks I can get out of them. So, um, you know, if you're like, how do you think of that? Well, I don't think of it. I just try things. All right. And we, we have so many released lately that I thought I would play and show you what I came up with. So I'm going to show you, this is Floor's Fine. It's one of my favorites. And um, so I put my paper in the tray and then I fold it back. It clips there on the bottom. This is a magnetic little toolbar that's holding the paper in place, the proper amount sticking out, all right? Then you put your border maker cartridge in so that the creative memories goes in and these knobby things hang out, all right? Um, so I'm going to put the vine part here and here and here and here. So you don't have to go all the way down. You can do partials. And then I'm going to change my cartridge to the, it's a poinsettia, which if you do it in red and whites, it really looks like a poinsettia. But if you do it in other colors, it looks like a really pretty flower. So I thought the flower with the vine would be a beautiful combination. Do you like that? Yes, Becky, I love that. Great, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let me show you some other combinations with some um, other punches that we have. I'm showing you all ones that I believe you can still get so that you don't get angry at me. All right, and plus you can get $10 off one of these border punches if you don't have them, as long as you spend 20 or more. All right, so let's put a color down so that we can see better. All right, so this is one that I did with um, the sailboat, the sandcastle, and the serenity key. All right, so just a, a kind of a little grouping um, that I think is kind of fun. I then came and swooped down with my decorative trimmer um, to cut that. If you don't have that tool, very simple. It just cuts um, either a wave, which is what I did here. Actually, this is a swell and this is a wave. So it does two different cuts. All right, I'm gonna push that one kind of out of, out of the way. Um, this one, is also, um, this is a combination of ancient key with the sailboat in the middle. So you can kind of play around where you put them. Again, I, I did the swell here to give this little water feel right there. This one is your ancient key with your circle. I really like this pattern, don't you? This one is your ancient key with your zebra stripe. The, the possibilities, girls, are endless. You can see how I'm doing every other one here and here. And then this one and this one I'm doing, you know, different patterns. This one is the new brocade chain with the ancient key. I really dig this look as well. Super pretty. And this one, um, this one was a little trickier. Um, this was the Sunshine Arch with Ancient Key. And after I did that border, and you know what it looks right here? It almost to me looks like um, buildings on either side with a bridge in the middle, doesn't it? Um, but after I did that side, I cut 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 it off at two inches and then I flipped my border maker cartridge upside down because it's too small to work with the border maker without um, using post-its to hold it down and just kind of did it upside down the opposite so bam bam and then I changed the cartridge and did the other half so this basically you do the first cut all the way across cut it off at two inches take your piece that's uncut flip it upside down so that you can see what you're cutting and just do the opposite. Make sense? All right, so let me show you some of these in action.
So here again, this is that serenity line. My friends that came to my crop in person the other day said that my colors are not showing up very well with this. Um, this in person is so lickable. Um, it is so soft and so pretty. Um, I hope it's showing up pretty for you, but they said that it wasn't. And they were like, oh, that's so much prettier in person. All right, so this is Ancient Key with double fan. So I did Ancient Key, Ancient Key, Ancient Key, Ancient Key, change my cartridge, double fan, double fan. Pretty, huh? Up at the top is um, a laser border. Um, this line comes with some beautiful laser borders. I recommend that you get two packs because one set will give you 10 different borders. And if you like to do this kind of thing with double page spreads, always add your extra, okay? Um, and then I did that square tile here again. I popped it with a foam square as well. Isn't that beautiful? This is a mat from the mat pack. Isn't that nice with that little pattern down there? It's really pretty. All right, this one I did with, I feel like I don't have enough space to put all my stuff. Do you, can y'all relate to that? I bet you can. All right, doesn't matter how much space you have, we use it up as scrapbookers, don't we? So this is a combination of, you know, I'm pretty confident that this is um, totally tonal island waters, this piece right here, totally tonal island waters. And um, I believe this print right here probably came, came from Tropic Time, Fast of Fab. I think that little pattern was from that, but it's just a, a beige. All right. So let's look a little close what I did here. I did Sandcastles. I did the Sunshine Arch. And then I did a couple punches with the rolling sail um, sailboats there. Um, I then cut it with my swell to give it this look. Is that beautiful? All right, so I, when I showed this at my crop the other day, they didn't understand how I got the different color tones on there. So I wanna show you how quick and easy that is if you're scratching your head. I know some of us are newer than others. So um, let's grab this one as an example. And I just need to find my sail boats. Here it is. So you're going to throw it in your, this guy. Remember, creative memories goes in. And you don't need the border, this part of it. Um, you just need some scraps. So I'm going to cut um, some yellow and I'm going to cut some blue. All right, and then what I'm going to do is trim my little sailboats off. This is a great job for our little um, our little micro scissors since it's such a small cut. And what I, I mean, you can cut the whole sailboat out or just the sail. It's kind of up to you. Um, I'm going to cut off just the sail for the green. I'm going to cut two of those off, just the sail. And then I'm going to do it with the yellow. But the boat would be cute too, actually. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my repo. Oh, I bet you my repo. Oh, I had a card class last night and I knew that I had my repo at the card class. But... I just remembered I re I put it back. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Are y'all like so laughing at me? This was supposed to not be cut off. I was supposed to cut off my light blue one. I am a hoot, aren't I? All right, well, anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> so don't cut your border one off. <laughs> You're just cutting these off. I'm gonna cut some blue now. 
and we're just going to pretend I didn't do that. Don't don't tell my friends and family. All right. So what I'm going to do, this is so hysterical. I don't know why y'all put up with me. All right. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on top and then I'm going to put my little sails on top. Like that. Where's my yellow ones? Mm. So if that was really attached, that would be perfect. And then I don't know what I did with the other yellow one. Good grief. Just got another one. It's that easy, girls. And I already put adhesive on it, so all I have to do is add the sail. All right. Is that easy and super cool? And, of course, you could have taken the whole boat, and then it would have gone all the way down to the water. That would have been really pretty, too. All right. So um, for those of you that are a little interested in our digital scrapbooking, now listen, if you're a scrapbooker and you scrapbook all the time, and you love your scrapbooking, um, the only time you would maybe want to do a digital book is for the reason I did this particular digital book, and that is um, I needed five copies of the same book. So sometimes it's just easier um, to do a digital project if you need multiple copies of something. Um, this is my daughter's wedding album, and um, so it's definitely going to be much faster for that. Otherwise, if you are enjoying your scrapbooking and you're completing albums, this may not be for you. If you are so busy, you have all the supplies and you never, ever do it. You take tons of pictures on your phone. You're getting worried that you're never going to get caught up. This might be a great way to get caught up. All right. Because truly, you, my daughter, I just taught my 24-year-old daughter how to do this at her digital party the other night. And she's already finished her honeymoon album and she has no experience with this and quite frankly is not technically savvy at all. She made scrapbooks when she was little, but hasn't done anything since. So um, that's something I'm really crazy, super proud of. So anyway, she's got her honeymoon album. She did it easily and, and quickly. All right. So let me tell you the benefits of our books. These are real books, you, you guys. These are real um, book cloth scrapbook albums where you can design the cover or you can do one that they gave you and just put a, put a picture in a frame, you know? Um, so you don't have to be creative, but I will teach you all the tricks of the trade. Um, you can, you know, have your spine already done. You can have, you know, a different back. You can do whatever you want. So it is a real scrapbook. And um, um, it has the versatility to um, have lots of different size photos. So, different size photos are really fun. Even your traditional scrapbookers, you should occasionally, when you see a photo that wows you, go ahead and spend the extra bucks and get the five by seven, get the eight by 10, because it's going to have a wow factor. But with digital, of course, the photos come screen printed already on the page like this. And so it gives you the ability, sorry about the page protectors. I did put page protectors on this book. Um, I do believe that they help keep it safe. And I did use a lot of... Um, peekaboo pockets in this. So for those of you that are a traditional scrapbooker or, or not, this is a traditional product that you come in and put on afterwards that'll allow you to put even more pictures in your album. I don't know about you, but the, my daughter's wedding, I mean, she had just thousands of pictures and it was really hard to narrow them down. So that gave me a little extra extra. So here's like a little embellishment, this little bride gown here um, it, it, and, and the little flower up here is an embellishment. All right. But what I wanted to show you is, is how you can do irregular shaped pictures like this one, a nice, um, you know, you can't even print that size picture, you know, so that's kind of cool. Um, another um, type that's hard to print is your um, like this, this size, you know. Um, so you can do a lot of that. Um, isn't it beautiful? You can write, you know, you can have it journal before you get it home. These are embellishments that um, were part of the, the kit that I, I worked with. I use work the same kit, but you don't have to work with the same kit. You can, you know, I keep this one I love. 
doesn't that just take your breath away when it's 12 by 12 like that? So you can make the whole page. Um, another cool thing that I do want to point out um, is you can, oh, well, this is a really chunky album, got lots of pictures, but you can mix in, you know, like these were family pictures that were just kind of repeti repetitious, right? You know, and so this is an actual scrapbooking product that I put in to actually insert some of the candid, not candids, but some of the repetitious photos quickly without even having to think about it this way. All right. Um, what else do I want to show you? Um, love this one of them dancing. Um, let's go back to the back. All right. So this page right here. These were photos that I got from somebody else um, from the rehearsal dinner. And so I never had those digitally. So I made a traditional page. All right. Um, I made a traditional page. I included the actual invitation from the, the uh, rehearsal dinner. Um, here I included actual um, invitation from the wedding, actual, you know, stuff that I saved from the wedding, her beverage napkins. Um, so I didn't have to take a picture of it included. I could include the real thing because this was a digital book. You know, it's it's sturdy. It's not going to tear because I've added that to flimsy pages. And then we also have um, peekaboo pockets like this is her invitation, not invitation. What do you call it? The program for the wedding that I put in with a six by 12 peekaboo pocket. Um, this right here is a actual real embellishment that from traditional that I added later. So for those of you that do like traditional and want to use up some of your stuff, you can you can use up some of your stuff in these as well. Um, but it's just a it's a real fast process um, that I think you'll like. So if that appeals to you, um, again, simply send me an email at Becky. Let's see, it's Becky, B-E-C-K-I-E at scrapbook with Becky dot com. And would you please in the subject line put digital class? Um, and if you um, again, if you don't have an advisor and you want to take a digital class, but you can't do it at 11, please let me know. Um, so this is this Saturday, 11 Eastern time, um, because I can fit fit it in at another time. This is something that I think is really fun, underutilized product that we have that people don't realize what a what a bargain it is. Um, to be able to do albums like this um, quickly without having to make a big investment in supplies. Um, so anyways, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget um, to go online um, and shop um, with your advisor if it's not me. Um, and if you don't have an advisor, I would love for you to shop with me. So um, you would go to, let me change this, you would go to uh, www.creativememories.com forward slash user, forward slash, and then type in my name, B-E-C-K-I-E-B-E-L-O-T. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.